GDPR, love it or hate it, if you're in Europe, you can't ignore it. It's 2025 and cookie consent is, you know, it's still a thing, which means that, yes, we're all still clicking on those banners before we can even begin scrolling on someone's website. But here's the good news. If you're running a WordPress website and you want to stay compliant without sacrificing your user experience, there is a better way. It's called WP consent, and it makes dealing with this stuff way, way easier. So now that you know why this matters, let me walk you through how to actually set it up on your WordPress website. And don't worry, it's super straightforward and you're going to be up and running in just a couple of minutes. First things first, we have to get you signed up. So head over to wpconsent.com and sign up for a plan of your choice. Once you've done so, uh, you're gonna be able to download the plugin from your members area and upload it into the plugins area of your WordPress website. Once the plugin is installed and activated on your website, you're going to want to do a quick scan of your website. This helps WP Consent detect the cookies and scripts that need managing. And from there, you're going to be in control. If this is the first time you're running WP Consent on your site, the installation wizard will prompt you to do this right away, but you can always jump into the configuration scanner and scan for new scripts if you have to. Think of the scanner inside WP Consent as that tool that uh, it's just smart enough to detect that, hey, Thrive Leads is pushing a pop-up or a top ribbon, and I should block that pop-up or that ribbon from showing up unless people have you know, opted in and given us consent. That's what the scanner does. Now that your scanner's picked everything up, let's move on to enabling the consent banner and making sure scripts are properly blocked until users opt in. Again, this is the part that ensures that your website is actually compliant and WP Consent makes this super simple. All you have to do is head over into the settings area and once you've enabled the consent banner to display on your site, you can also enable script blocking. Now, script blocking is what most of you guys are probably going after. This is what prevents tools like Thrive Leads from displaying any pop-ups or, you know, or any banners or ribbons until after people have given you consent. Before leaving, note that in this area, you can also customize how long you want your consent cookies to last for. All right, now that this is functional, uh, let's actually make it beautiful. One of the things that I love about WP Consent is how easy it is to match the banner to your site's branding. Now, let me show you how to customize the design so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. If you jump into banner design, here you can customize the way in which your consent form shows up. Uh, you know, you can do a top ribbon, a bottom ribbon, a modal, and so on. And of course, you get to tweak the size of your font, you know, the background color of your consent form, etc. You know, this part shouldn't really take you more than a couple of minutes to configure. And for those of you wondering, do I really need to show this to everyone? That's a good question. That's where geolocation comes in. WP Consent can automatically show the banner only to visitors from regions where, you know, where it's legally required or regions that you manually select. Uh, you can just jump into the geolocation tab and tell WP Consent which visitors from which countries should see your consent form. And that's it. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, right? Look, GDPR, it can be a real headache, especially for those, you know, small business owners who are already wearing a dozen different hats. But if your site gets European traffic, staying compliant is not optional. That's why WP Consent is such a smart solution. I mean, it's easy to set up, it's easy to customize, and it quietly handles all of the cookies and script management in the background so that you don't have to really stress about it. All right, if you got any questions, be sure to drop them down in the comment section below. And yeah, I'm happy to help wherever I can. Appreciate your time, and I'll catch you soon. Thanks.